Welcome to another episode of All About Life in Thailand, where I, Ray, delve into the question, is Thailand a third world country, as some people seem to think? Okay, now first, as a computer science graduate, I'm not a professional in the fields of law, accounting, or psychiatry, so my goal is to provide informative insights and clarification without influencing your opinions. My videos are only intended to provide information from which you may draw your own conclusions. Hey folks, if my videos are helpful, help the channel reach more people by clicking like. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe, click the bell and click all. Thailand, though often mis mislabeled as a third world country, has defied stereotypes with its impressive economic, social, and political advancements. This video delves into Thailand's journey from a developing nation to an upper middle -income, income economy, highlighting its industrialization, social welfare improvements, and democratic strides. This video is longer than usual, so kick back with your preferred liquid refreshment and get comfy. For those of you who are unaware, I'm live streaming at 6.30 a.m. Bangkok time every Sunday. Now that's GMT plus 7. The corresponding global day and times are on the screen. You're cordially invited to join us. We discuss anything you blokes want to know within limits about life in Thailand. And my responses are provided only with the understanding that I am not rendering legal, accounting, tax, immigration, or any other professional advice. Do your own diligence. Nor am I a font of all knowledge. I'll be there. I hope you will be too. So let's unravel why Thailand's progress transcends the outdated third world categorization. Thailand has made significant economic and social progress over the past few decades transitioning from a developing country to an upper middle income country with a robust and diversified economy. The term third world originated during the Cold War to describe countries that were not aligned with either the capitalist first world led by the United States or the communist second world led by the Soviet Union. This political categorization had little to do with the country's development of economic development. Over time, the meaning of third world has shifted to generally refer to developing or underdeveloped countries, often with the connotation of poverty, political instability, and lack of infrastructure. However, this definition is problematic and outdated because it fails to capture the nuances and diversity of the countries it attempts to categorize. Many countries that were once considered third world have undergone significant transformations. They have modernized their economies, improved social welfare, and strengthened their political institutions. Thailand is a prime example of such a country having made remarkable strides in its development over the past few decades. Thailand has made a remarkable economic strides in recent decades. Once an agricultural economy, Thailand has transformed into an industrialized, export-oriented economy with a diverse range of industries. Here's a few, a few key facts about Thailand's economy. Thailand has the second largest economy in Southeast Asia after Indonesia. Thailand's GDP per capita was $7,808 in 2022, placing it in the upper middle income category according to World Bank standards. Poverty rates in Thailand plummeted, plummeted from 58% in 1990 to just 6.8% in 2020. Major exports include automobiles, computers, electrical appliances, rice, textiles, and jewelry. These macroeconomic indicators demonstrate that Thailand has progressed well beyond the characteristics 
typically associated with third world countries. While Thailand still faces some economic challenges, such as income inequality, it is clearly not a poor, undeveloped nation. Thailand's economic transformation has been driven by a shift from an agricultural-based economy to a more diversified, industrialized one. Some of the key developments are the manufacturing sector has become a significant driver of economic growth, accounting for around 30% of GDP. Thailand has developed a strong automotive industry with major global automakers such as Toyota, Honda and Nissan having production facilities in the country. The electronics and electrical appliance industries have also become important export sectors with Thailand producing a wide range of products from computer components to household appliances. The tourism industry is a significant contributor to Thailand's economy, with the country attracting millions of visitors each year. Thailand has also made strides in developing its services sector, including finance, telecommunications and logistics. This diversification and industrialization of the Thai economy has been crucial in propelling the country's economic development and moving it beyond the traditional third world label. Thailand's progress extends beyond just economic metrics. The country has also made significant strides in social and human development, investing in the well-being of its citizens. Now here's some key factors of Thailand's social and human development. Thailand ranks 79th out of 189 countries and territories in the United Nations 2022 Human Development Index, placing it in the high human development uh, category. Life expectancy in Thailand is 77 years. That's higher than the global average. Thailand has achieved near universal primary school enrollment and has made substantial improvements in secondary and tertiary education. Thailand's healthcare system provides universal coverage with 99% of the population enrolled in the National Health Insurance Scheme. These indicators demonstrate that Thailand has made significant investments in the health and education of its population which are hallmarks of more developed nations. Thailand has also made impressive strides in reducing poverty and addressing income inequality. Poverty rates in Thailand plummeted from 58% in 1990 to just 6.8% in 2020. I know I said that before, but it's worth remembering. The government has various, uh, implemented various social welfare programs, such as the Universal Coverage Scheme, which provides free health care to all Thai citizens. While income inequality is still a concern, Thailand's progress in reducing poverty and providing social safety nets for its citizens is a clear indication that it has moved beyond the characteristics typically associated with third world countries. While Thailand has experienced periods of political instability, including military coups, the country has also made progress in strengthening its democratic institutions and governance. Now, here's some key points about Thailand's political landscape. Thailand transitioned to a constitutional monarchy in 1932 and has alternated between democracy and military rule since then. The country's current constitution, adopted in 2017, establishes a parliamentary system with a democratically elected government. Thailand is a founding member of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations and plays an active role in regional and global affairs. The country has made efforts to improve transparency and combat corruption, though challenges remain. <laughs> yeah, challenges remain. 
While Thailand's political landscape remains complex, the country has demonstrated a commitment to democratic principles and the rule of law, which are hallmarks of more developed nations. Thailand's political and economic progress has also allowed it to play a more prominent role in regional and global affairs. As a founding member of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, Thailand has been a key player in promoting regional cooperation and integration. Thailand has also strengthened its ties with other major economies such as China, Japan and the United States, diversifying its diplomatic uh, economic relationship. The country has become an important hub for regional trade and investment with its strategic location and well-developed infrastructure. Thailand's growing geopolitical influence and its active participation in regional and global affairs further distinguish it from the traditional third world label. While Thailand has made remarkable progress, the country still faces some challenges that it must address to continue its development uh, tra trajectory. Income inequality and regional disparities remain a concern, with some areas and segments of the population lagging behind in terms of economic and social development. The country's political landscape has been marked by periodic instability with military coups and power struggles between different factions. Thailand's economy is still heavily reliant on exports and tourism making it vulnerable to external shocks and global economic conditions. The country must also address environmental challenges such as air pollution, deforestation and the impact of climate change. Despite these challenges, Thailand's overall trajectory is one of pro progress and development. The country has demonstrated its ability to adapt and be overcome obstacles and its future prospects remain promising. In conclusion, Thailand is clearly not a third world country. The country's made remarkable economic, social and political progress transitioning from a developing country to an upper middle income industrialized nation with a strong human development profile. While challenges remain, Thailand's trajectory firmly places it outside the outdated and problematic third world categorization. Thailand should be recognized for the progress it has achieved and the potential it holds as a dynamic emerging economy in Southeast Asia. The country's transformation serves as a testament to the power of economic development, social investment and political reform in lifting a nation out of the constraints of the third world label. Okay, Cobbers, I've said my bit. Now I'd like to know your thoughts or questions on this topic. So pop those in the comments. Thanks for staying until the end. Until the next video, share this one. Take care and bye for now.